up guys, my name is Josh and uh, we're going to talk about the shoe today. It's the Vans Ultra Range Rapid Weld. Uh, it's, a, it's a van shoe, it's a skate shoe, but uh, I think it's a pretty good parkour shoe, so let's talk about it. So Vans are traditionally a skate shoe, but they've always been worn for more than just skateboarding. Uh, and the Ultra Ranges are actually designed with uh, versatility and comfort in mind. So uh, that, along with some other features of the shoe, make it a pretty good parkour shoe in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and rate this shoe out of five on a whole bunch of things, including like durability and how they look and how they um, are heat resistant. And yeah, well, let's dive into it. It looks like a marshmallow. Ooh, that's gone. Just a solid hole. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry too. What time is it? You just. So starting off with looks, uh, so I'm just looking at the shoe, it looks like a really good shoe. Uh, I love to wear the shoe because I can go out and I can train all day and then if I need to rush to a non-parkour event, I don't need to worry about changing into a different pair of shoes. These can suit like any event I'm doing. Um, you can also get them in a just huge variety of colors to, shoot, uh, to suit your wardrobe uh, and see what you like. So as far as, as looks go, uh, I want to give these like a 4.5. Uh, I, I, the only reason I, I say uh, 4.5 is because they do tend to get uh, ripped up and then that can make them look not as nice. Uh, but we'll talk about the durability of them uh, a little bit later. So we actually went ahead and weighed the shoe along with a, a couple other shoes. And we found out that uh, the Ultra Ranges are lighter than a Feiyu, which is crazy to think about. Feiyus are really tiny. Um, but these shoes with the mesh on top and with the really, really light foam, they're a really light shoe. So um, uh, for, for uh, weight, I'm not gonna give it like a, a stars, but on the scale of like really, really heavy and then very, very light, they're, uh, they're very light. They're like, the only thing that uh, you get that um, weighs less than this is maybe like, uh, uh, like one of those finger shoes where you put your toes in it and it's like a sock. Um, this is, it's a light shoe, man. <clears throat> So before I hop into flexibility, I wanted to add that uh, this shoe is actually has a little bit of a like built-in sock in it. Uh, so you can wear these shoes barefoot uh, to help with the like weightlessness of them if you don't want to have socks in them. Um, and there, yeah, they're just really comfy. And now for flexibility, um, it is a bendy, bendy shoe. Like I said, this foam is just super light. This shoe bends to the point where I don't need my foot or my foot can't even bend more than this shoe can bend. So. Um, I'm gonna give this, uh, for flexibility, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 because uh, how thick the foam is, it does uh, hinder that 100% mobility just a little bit, um, but in my experience, I, I never need to use that because this shoe's already so bendy and my foot doesn't need to get all the way there. So like I've said, these shoes have quite a bit of padding. Um, I'm, I'm gonna give these right away just a 4.5 uh, and that is totally uh, subjective because um, they just have a lot of padding. Uh, I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's well, it's up to you um, Let's talk about the padding a little bit because the way the padding works is a little weird uh, The shoes have this uh, extra foam part in the middle uh, where up here is rubber down here is rubber But right here is foam uh, This can be really nice if you're a uh, if you're a high-level athlete training some let's say like a, a really big running precision and if you mess up you arch a little bit uh, these shoes are gonna be really really forgiving and that's really nice uh, you're still gonna feel it, you're still gonna know that you landed there, but uh, it, it won't hurt. So they're really good in that sense, but I wouldn't at all recommend them for, uh, for beginners because if you start landing on your arch and, and it, it's not really hurting, it's not really uh, noticeable enough, then what's gonna happen is you're going, uh, you're going to get used to that technique and you're gonna either have bad technique forever or once you switch to a different shoe, maybe a lighter shoe, you're gonna do a, a precision that, you're gonna land on your arch and it's not gonna feel good. So if you're a beginner, I would maybe shy away from these shoes. Um, for example, I like to use uh, a Feiyu's. Uh, that's what I used when I first started out. Got really good technique in the Feiyu's, using a barefoot shoe. And then now that I'm doing bigger high level moves, I moved on to something with a bit more padding. All right, so now let's talk about grip. These shoes come with that classic Vans rubber. And, and honestly, that Vans rubber is really good rubber. It's really sticky, it's really grippy. Um, so when you're jumping off of walls and, and things made out of concrete and bricks and wood, uh, these shoes stick really well. Um, where they lose points is 
on stuff like railing because of this uh, super like waffle texture uh, stuff we going on uh, we got going on down here uh, because of this we uh, we lose a little bit of feeling uh, as we are doing like rail precision stuff we can't necessarily feel the rail as well um, so when it comes to the literal grip it's it's very good but when it comes to the the feel of the shoe uh, some people uh, uh, dislike it personally I think these shoes feel like uh, like a connection uh, to my foot and they're really bouncy um, but some people uh, dislike the waffle uh, pattern down here and that can make it a little bit less grippy on uh, objects like railing so one more thing to add about the grip is like we were talking about with the padding uh, this foam part here uh, foam is a lot, a lot more slippery than rubber, um, but if you've got good technique, it shouldn't matter at all. You shouldn't be trying to do a wall run off this part of the shoe. You know, you should be trying to do it off the balls of your feet. So for grip, I'm going to go ahead and give it three stars because like I said, the literal grip is really good, but that texture becomes uh, a little bit noticeable once you're jumping on stuff like railing. All right, let's talk about durability. So I've had these shoes for a couple of weeks now, uh, so let's look at them. Let's hop into them. So the first thing is the mesh on top. It's really light, it's really breathable, it's really nice, but because of how light it is, uh, it can get torn pretty easily. For example, uh, if you're doing like a thief fault and your legs come around and you scrape the block you're doing it on, um, that's how I always get holes right here. Uh, I'll also get holes on this side sometimes and just and tears down the side of it. Um, personally, I have never had these shoes uh, get torn so bad that I have to stop training in them. Uh, I always go through the rubber before I go through the mesh. So these shoes aren't very durable because of uh, there just isn't a lot of rubber on these shoes. I'm actually gonna throw up a picture right now. You can see like the, the foam, you can see the rubber and you can see the comparison. And there's just not a lot of rubber on these shoes. Um, I go through them in about two to three months. Um, I, I, like I said, I wear these shoes every single day though. They fit for any event, so I'm always in them. Uh, and I train pretty often too, uh, probably like three, four times a week. And like I said, always wearing them, I'm always in the gym working, so they're always getting worn out. Um, if you're not wearing these shoes every single day, you can make them last a lot longer. Um, but then it also depends on what kind of movement you do in these shoes. If you're uh, doing a bunch of wall runs, a bunch of uh, just like parkour based movement then they're probably gonna uh, get worn down a lot quicker whereas if you're just training a lot of flips in them and not a lot of stuff where you're scraping the ground and scraping off that rubber then uh, these shoes will last a little bit longer so durability is definitely one of the shoes downsides I'm gonna go ahead and give it uh, only two stars because they're durable enough but uh, when you're training every day in them uh, they go through pretty fast uh, last point I want to touch up on is the price of these shoes. These shoes are, in my opinion, really, really nice. These shoes feel like an attachment of me. They make me feel really bouncy. I feel like I can jump really high. I can spin really fast. And these shoes are just my favorite, except for the price. These shoes, uh, you can really only get them for around $70, $80. Um, they are like a brand new van shoe, so they, they, uh, they haven't even been around for that long. Um, so because of the because of the price, they're not the they're not the best. But uh, if you love the shoe as much as I do, then I think they're worth it. So I want to touch up on a couple more uh, benefits and drawbacks of the Ultra ranges. Uh, like I said, one of the benefits is that inner sock lining. These shoes are super comfortable to just walk around in and just not train in. But they're also really comfortable to train in. Uh, some drawbacks of them though is uh, they do have a little bit of a raised heel. Uh, we want our foot to be flat. It's not good for our uh, heel to be raised up higher. Uh, that's an easy way to roll your ankle. Um, personally, I, I've never had that to be a problem. I've never even really thought about it until someone else who dislikes the shoe was telling me about their opinion of it, and they, uh, they noted that. Um, another drawback are, uh, is the poor feel because of how thick the foam is and, and the textured rubber. Um, you can't feel a crack in the ground. You can't feel uh, the, like, perfect curve of the rail as if you were in uh, like a barefoot shoe for example. So I want to show you guys a review that my friend Tyler left on these shoes. What he said about them is these shoes feel like boots to me. They're just too big. When I wear them they uh, feel, I feel no sense of what's under me and I feel like my ankle is just going to roll. Uh, so that's Tyler's opinion. He doesn't love these shoes very much. My opinion is Tyler's an idiot and these shoes are wonderful. So everyone's different. Um, 
If you have the money to shell out, I would say try these shoes out, see what you think of them, see if they're for you. Um, but like I said, they are a bit pricey. In conclusion, these shoes look great, and for a certain uh, group of athletes, they're gonna they're gonna feel really really good. Uh, but because of the the higher price point and the lower durability, this can uh, this can make these shoes a bit of a risky purchase. Um, if you got a friend who's got them, I, I definitely recommend trying them out. Uh, and if you have the money to spend on them, I would definitely recommend trying them out. But if you're looking for some, something a bit cheaper, uh, just go get some Feyus. So like I've said, I love these shoes. Uh, maybe you don't. Maybe you've got a different opinion about it. And I would love to hear that opinion. So uh, voice your concerns and your comments down below. Uh, but uh, that is it for the shoe review. So pretty nice shoe. I like it. Maybe you don't. I said that already. Have a good day, guys.